Hi, I'm Toy Johnson Vincent, motivational speaker, certified life coach, HR talent acquisition professional, also known as the No Sugar Coating Coach. That's right, I don't sugarcoat it. And I thank you very much for tuning in today and each and every week between September 2020 and December 31st, New Year's Eve. That's correct. I'll be right here doing a video. Most of them will be short in terms of length, but huge content, content that's relevant, content that will help you make decisions, whether it's in your business or your daily life with your clients, your colleagues, former clients, former colleagues, and of course, family. So what's my topic all about today? Guess what? You remember the people that you always try to please? Hmm, let me let you think about that for a minute. Oh, I know you didn't have to think long. That's right, because we all know who some of those people are. We have them in our lives, in our business, former colleagues we may have worked with, you know, and of course, family. So this is what the deal is. The bottom line is, Remember, you will not, I repeat, you will not be able to please each and every person that you come in contact with or that you've even had a long-term relationship with. So it's really important to focus on the number one priority, which is capital Y-O-U. I say it all of the time. If you are not in tune with who you are, that's capital Y-O-U, then you probably won't be in tune to others or be able to attend to their needs. But since we all know that when you're dealing with clients or customers or even family members, you know if you're asked to do something and you didn't get it quite right and now there's a complaint. Mm, we don't like complaints, right? So we want to try to avoid that. What are some of the tips that can help you do that? Well, number one, again, be in tune to who you are. Make sure that people and you, especially if you're collaborating with someone on a task or project, make sure that you understand what is at hand. If you can't do it or you don't have the time, just simply say you're not available to do it right now. And perhaps you can schedule a time that's better where both of you or an organization can sit down and talk about their needs on a you know wider scale basis. So again, never just accept something and then you decide you cannot do it. That is definitely not the way, right? We don't want to burn bridges. We want to please, but we never want to burn bridges. So number two, when you have a task at hand, the number one thing is know the priority, know the timing that they are looking to have this particular project done. If you're collaborating, obviously you must stay in constant communication, at least that is at the level that you both understand is okay right? Okay. Now you got the priority. Now you have the deadlines. You have the timelines. What is, you know, expected of you. And the last one I wanted to say is expectations. That is correct. So you have the deadline, but what are the overall goals and expectations from your client or your customer? Well, the number one thing is, again, prioritizing their needs. Yes, you're putting you first. Yes, you want to be healthy and all of those good things so that you can carry out the task. But in the same token, you want to make sure that you're not overwhelmed. So if you have multiple or several projects going on at the same time, or you even anticipate gaining more projects, which is a good thing, right? Of course, we all want that. But in the same token, is it worth it that you damage you know, a relationship where it could be disrepaired, meaning you just can't repair the relationship. You'll never please that person or organization. You do not want to be in that light. So with that said, just make sure, in essence, you don't bite off more than you can chew, okay? Let's just keep it simple today. Again, those are some tips on hopefully they can help you or your organization. If you want more, you want to hear more about me and my story of hashtag resilience and learn more about me through my bio, please go to my website at www.tjv empowers you, the letter you.com. Again, tjv empowers you 
theletteru.com. I'm here for your motivational speaker, certified life coach, or HR needs. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and the like button. Take care now.